The most exciting thing ahead for HRSD is the Sustainable Water Initiative for Tomorrow, or SWIFT. SWIFT will add advanced water treatment processes to create drinking water quality water that will pump into the region's groundwater to supply a sustainable supply of groundwater for future generations throughout Eastern Virginia. The beauty of SWIFT is that it provides multiple benefits to Southeastern Virginia. On the one hand, it replenishes this super valuable groundwater resource that future generations really need to enjoy the quality of life that we've come to expect. There's an opportunity to reduce nitrogen pollution to the Chesapeake Bay far beyond what we had ever imagined. The SWIFT project will help reduce, if not eliminate, land subsidence, um, which will help with the current flooding and sea level rise. And the SWIFT project also provides a new source of water. So water using industries can move into the area uh, we see groundwater management opportunities, you know, the restoration of our coastal aquifer, um, as well as economic development opportunities could all result from this project. We're currently piloting two parallel processes. One's a membrane-based and one's carbon-based. These processes have been used widely throughout the United States, even across the globe, and here in Virginia to treat water to highly purified levels. The nice thing here is that we are comparing two processes at the same time, so we can really see uh, the performance side by side. Nobody's doing that right now. Our treatment trains operate in two ways. One treatment train has a membrane process which excludes particles and helps remove pathogens and pollutants. And the other treatment train has a carbon-based filtration system that also does the same. And of course, at the end of each of those treatment trains, we're analyzing the finished water quality to ensure that we've gotten the pathogen removal and the organic removal that we're looking for. Both the carbon-based system and the membrane-based system do a really nice job of removing several groups of contaminants. Those include pathogens, protozoan pathogens, viruses, and bacteria that have the potential to make people sick. It also removes the contaminants associated with drinking water regulations quite well. But we also remove a wide range of other contaminants that a lot of people are worried of, of, about right now. The SWIFT pilot is proving that the technology that's already been proven in other places around the country and around the world is safe for the water in our region. We knew that this was going to be a challenge, so we set up a very rigorous sampling routine. There is an abundance of sampling. We want to make sure that we really do know how each of the treatment trains are performing, so at the end of the study, we can make the best informed decision on what to move forward with. Phase three is where we're going to take the lessons we learned from the pilot, phase two, and um, we are going to be putting it all together to demonstrate that we can use these processes to get finished water into the aquifer and to work with the regulators to really define how we can take the next steps forward into um, the future phases of the SWIFT initiative. The fact that HRSD has the foresight to do that is one of the reasons that I think many of us are here. SWIFT's just an example of, of the type of foresight that the organization has to uh, put forward these concepts and also demonstrate these concepts and put these concepts out in, in full scale. And I know folks are looking at this project from, from well outside of this area to, to see how it goes and, and hopefully to apply it there in, in the future. Ladies and gentlemen, I've never seen a bolder, more creative, more courageous project than this one. And I want to just congratulate Ted and the HRSD commissioners and HRSD staff for what they've done. We've done everything we need to do to make this pure water ready to drink. Um, I'm very confident in the process and I want to demonstrate that by drinking the first sip. The future!